Good morning. Welcome to your early morning intuitive guidance. I'm back. Did you miss me? <laughs> so I had several days where I missed doing Yemig when I was on vacation, but for the most part, I actually hit on most of them. And the, um, need some lotion here. The thoughts that, that popped up while I was on vacation are the things, good morning, Deb. Glad you are here. Um, the thoughts that popped up on vacation are the things that I'm now working on continuing as I get back from vacation. You know how re-entry goes. So, so today is my regrouping day and then tomorrow I start seeing clients again. So, um, good morning, Cindy. Welcome. Glad you're here. Um, today's card is just funny as heck. So first I want to talk about um, doing little things for yourself. Our card for today is stop doing, start being. Ha ha ha. Yes, I'm home. I'm home, I'm home. I'll probably continue to post some pictures here and there though because I have so many pretty pictures from this place. Good morning, Jennifer. Glad you are here. Um, and I had made the decision that I was going to pick this particular card deck because um, one of the things I discerned at my retreat was that I need far more nature in my life than I've been allowing. And part of that is due to the card that we have today, which the universe has a fantastic sense of humor. And I wanna show you my new um, glasses holder. Isn't that fun? There's a little shop on East Mujeres called the Women's Beating Cooperative. And basically any woman who um, is struggling to make ends meet can go there and bead things. They have beautiful things, but I have been looking for glasses holders forever. And it was one of the things where I kind of put my own needs to the background. It's like, yeah, yeah, I'll find some somewhere, blah, blah. And I didn't make a concerted effort to get something that I needed. Thank you for the purple heart there. That is lovely. Um, so we went in this little shop and there were two women sitting there beading so that the shop could be open. And um, all of these beaded things have the woman's name on who had beaded it. And basically, in peso, this ended up being a dollar. Good morning, Mel, glad you're here. I've been looking all over, here they were. I bought several and I'm so happy with them. I'm just so excited because again, it was me taking the time to get myself something I have been wanting. I hate putting my glasses on my head or tucking them down my shirt and then I lean forward and they fall off and that's not a good thing. So now I've got these and I'm just so excited. Anywho, back to the card for today. Um, I had also discerned on vacation that there's some tweaks I need to put in my life. And you know from my blurb on the New Year's resolution thing, etc. Thank you. I'm glad to be home. Um, good morning, Holly. Welcome, welcome. I sent you and Linda a message. So I think it was, was an e no, it wasn't an email. I think it was a text. Anywho, um, so little things that I need to make changes to. You know from New Year's resolutions, they don't last because we do this complete overhaul of our life and then we can't sustain it. So I'm coming back home ready to make sustainable small changes. Bumping up water, cutting back on sugar. Notice I didn't say eliminating, but cutting back on sugar, bumping up fruits and vegetables. So being more in nature. I need to be outside more. So, um, something is very loud out there. Anywho, hopefully you guys can't hear it. Good morning, Diane. Welcome. Glad you're here. So I picked Nature Portals deck. Surprise, surprise. Thank you. I'm glad to be home. It was a brisk walk this morning. The moon was amazing. I took a moon bath. So, um, when we were on the island, it was full moon and we did a full moon ceremony and um, Kayleen mentioned things that you want to cleanse. You can give them a moon bath, put them out with the, when it's the full moon, leave them out overnight and they get a moon bath and that kind of like crystals that recharges crystals, etc. So, and I haven't even had time to go through yet, but I have a whole bag of fun things that 
came my way, including rocks and little chunks of pottery that people had thrown out and some beach glass and all manner of fun things. So I have to figure out what I'm going to do with those. I also made a decision to continue my process of clearing. There, I still have way too much stuff in my way, and that makes it hard for the messages to come through. The message was very clear. It's not time for you to make any changes to your life yet. But, I mean, this was just an amazing retreat. It was a women's retreat. It was a goddess retreat. It was awesome. Um, so next year when she offers it, I'll, again, share the, the um, <clears throat> link, but start saving now. <laughs> so, Nature Portal Stack, Bruce and Carol Malner, and... If I had thought ahead about which card the universe was going to offer today, I probably would have said this card because um, this is kind of like my talisman card in the deck. So it's a, an inland lake. I, I'm assuming it's Wisconsin or Michigan because that's what inland lakes in Wisconsin and Michigan look like. It is... Stop doing, start being. Stop doing, start being. That one is, thank you, I'm glad to be home. That one is sort of my, um, my bugaboo. I'm, I've been wired from the get-go to do, 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 do. And it really, it is time to be. And be less caught up in the doing. And now there's a ton of doing in my face, I will have opportunity to practice balancing the being and the doing. So here's what it says. Let's take some nice deep breaths first in through the nose, out through the mouth, in through the nose, out through the mouth. Isn't it nice to breathe again? <laughs> Stop doing, start being. We're human beings, not human doings. Allow nature to help you shift your focus from doing to being. Good morning, Sue. Glad you're here. Welcome, welcome. We are being instead of doing. Find a quiet spot in a natural environment. You don't need to go off into the wilderness. Just go out into your backyard or to a nearby park. So I think one of the things I'm going to do, there's going to be multiple, but one of the things I'm going to do, actually today, because there's very little snow here, um, I'm going to take my dog, good morning, Susan, out to my brother's house and we're going to tromp around. Might be a little muddy. So what? Um, so I did my moon bath this morning already and we had a nice walk around the school and then I'll take him for a walk out at my brother's house and then I think I'm going to begin, maybe not today, but at least a couple of days a week, going back on my walks. <laughs> Yes, Tipsy Taco does have those wonderful grilled veggies. Let's set a date. We'll go. That'd be awesome. I'm doing more of that, too. I actually am having lunch with a friend of mine who I haven't seen since college. So 40 years. Um, and his daughter just got married. And so I'll get, probably hopefully get to see some wedding pictures. Um, but Dougie and I are going to go have lunch. Um, doing more of that stuff. I am practicing, stepping away from that grind of, I'll catch up on work, then I'll go do. No, the work never gets caught up on. It is an endless grind. So prioritizing the other stuff. So take your time to look around until something in the natural environment catches your attention. When it does, give yourself permission to be present with it. So yesterday, I, when I got home, I watered all my plants, and I noticed that one of my plants has buds on it. So I don't even know. It kind of looks to me like an azalea, but I'm not sure. I inherited it from my sister, <coughs> <coughs> who said as she walked past it at her house, I hate this plant. What she meant was, I hate caring for this plant. I've got four dogs who all have special needs. I'm up to my eyeballs in caregiving. I don't need a plant. So I took the plant because I love adding green to my world. So I now have three plants. You know how when you move, you kind of bequeath your plants to other people so you don't have to move them? 
I now have acquired three more plants. That's just kind of how it goes, you know. So being present with whatever natural thing you pick out. So do, some, do something right now. Maybe you have a rock sitting on your desk. Maybe you have a plant by your bed, whatever. Pick out something natural right now. And I want you to hang out with it. Be present with it. And I want you to watch for our very human tendency to start analyzing it. I name the plant, you know, it's growing, I should really prune this, blah, 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 instead of just be present. Just be present. And they say, don't try to name it, understand it, or learn about it. Relax and just be with it. Relax and just be with this. All of us can use some practice with this. So the quote is from John Lubbock. Rest is not idleness, and to lie sometimes on the grass under a tree on a summer's day, listening to the murmur of the water or watching the clouds float across the sky is by no means a waste of time. <clears throat> and I think it was on my business page that I posted my 39 second sunrise waves lapping video. If so, your mission for today, and I'll, I'll go back and look and see if it's there. If it's not there, I'll add it, um, is to watch that. Just watch that once, twice, 39 seconds. You can spare 39 seconds and just soak up that vibe. The, the sunrise was absolutely amazing. That spot is the first spot in Mexico where the sun touches every morning. And it was just beautiful. Just beautiful. So I'd like us all to begin stepping back into more beauty, more nature, more being versus doing. Um, let's begin to live this life instead of scurry on through it, okay? And we all need these reminders. I, I re-up this reminder over and over again, and it's time again, time again. So have an awesome day. We'll see you again tomorrow. Remember you're capable of far more you th than you think you are, including being instead of doing. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.